welcome to another quick wing tips today what i gotta check out how to use your wing to do broadcast i will divide this video in a couple of steps please look at the timestamp in the description below and without any more waiting let's move over to the wing the first thing that we need to decide before we even do uh, anything related to sound is figure out how we gonna send our signal out of the console to our streaming device the first one and probably most common will be over USB. Uh, you send out from the USB B in the back out to a computer. USB 2 is fine uh, doing sound, especially since we are doing uh, live stream, we only gonna send out a left right mix to our computer. Another option will be Dante. Uh, Dante is a network protocol, it's sound over IP. Uh, basically all you need to know is you need to connect your console to the same network as your computer and load some uh, virtual sound card. I will have another video covering Dante. Another solution will be to be simply going analog out of the back uh, using two outputs, could be quarter jack, could be XLR and going into your computer if you have a sound interface already that you want to use um, go ahead and do that any two input uh, interface will do and if you are really really uh, low on budget maybe going with a 1-8 jack into your computer this is not something that i would suggest really but if you got no other choice sorry to interrupt here i just need to do a clarification about the uh one eight method you can use one eight no problem but just make sure that you have a line input microphone input do have uh, some kind of phantom power sending out power into your console output can damage them so don't use a microphone and use a line input for your one eight Okay, now back. For us to have a visual reference, I'm going to start a virtual sound check on the console. Now that we have our visual reference, we need to take a decision on how we're going to send out signal to our broadcast. If you are using your wing only for uh, broadcast and you don't have to deal with the musician or you don't have to provide sound for the room, you can use your main out one and just send that out directly to your streaming device. Another option if you are doing multiple stuff on the console at the same time, if you're doing monitor, if you're doing the room and you also need to send out a broadcast feed, uh, you could use your main two. So on every single input here, you can create a mix that will be sent out to broadcast and we will send out from USB, Dente, or analog, your main mix to, to your streaming device. Or another option will be to use a Oxen. If you have somebody with a, an iPad, maybe in a different room that can mix only for the broadcast and send all your track out to a, let's say we're gonna use here, Bus 9. Uh, if you are using Bus 9, you want that to be pre-faders or whatever you would do uh, in for the room it won't impact what's going on with that bus on a side note here uh, the gain eq and compressor will be shared you don't have much choice there for tone but you have the choice for the mix if you want a different mix than the front of house that's another way to go another way to do a broadcast mix will be to do a internal split right now i have a really small uh, setup i'm running 14 input over 10 channel because the wing channel can be mono or stereo so i can also let's say use input 25 and on and reassign my preamp there uh, i'm using the w play live i could reassign my preamp here and just create another mix with the same mic pre that's another way to create a mix now that you choose a way to create a mix for your live stream we need to send that stereo signal out to your device the first method that i suggest was to use the usb in the back of the console so to set that up we're going to go here over and set up going to go over audio and on the far right here you have a choice for the amount of in and output you want to send out from the USB in the back. Uh, I would suggest you to use only a 2x2 two two because uh, if you are doing live stream you only want to send two channel. You want to limit your option of output here uh, just to keep things simple. And from here we're going to go over to the routing menu. In the routing page we're going to go to output. 
uh, unlock or patch and here we're going to select USB. This is where you will select the signal that goes to the computer. The first scenario that I said is if we are using the wing as a standalone broadcast console, make sure that your patch is unlocked and on the right here we're going to go to main uh, and we're going to select one left to right. If we are using uh, an, a bus send, let's say we said bus nine, we're going to go here and select bus nine left and right. Just make sure that you selected the mix that you created for your broadcast uh, and you send that out to USB one and two. As you probably guess here, the same rule apply if you are using analog out, don't select USB, just uh, select the analog output or dente, or just make sure that on your left page, you select your output and on the right page, you select what you want to send out to, from the console into those output out to your device. Another question that come up a lot is how to get a loud volume going out of the wing to your live stream. Because we send signal over to the internet, a lot of people are at home and we kind of need to compete volume wise with what people are used to. They probably just listen to a recording track before coming to your stream and uh, I'm gonna guess here that that track was mastered. I'm not a mastering engineer at all. I know the process behind mastering and we kind of need to fake that here. Now uh, I'm going to go with the first solution that we said, let's say our wing is our only console. So we're using main mix one to send out signal. Right now, uh, this is what I use for my broadcasts that I do every Monday, shameless plug here. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to watch that. I answer a question about the wing and everything else sound related. So I got my mix going on right now. Uh, you can probably see the VU right here. Um, I'm reaching, I have an average of minus 10 dB VU meter. We want to go as close as possible to zero dB without touching it ever because touching the zero dB will cause digital clipping. Uh, this is something you want to avoid at all costs. But there's a couple trick up our sleeve that we have in the wing that we can use to achieve a really loud mix without clipping. The first tool that we can use to achieve that is using a limiter on our master. Right now I'm using the precision limiter. This is my favorite one to use for that, that scenario. And I want to crank the input gain until I until I see the gain reduction popping in. Uh, you can probably see here on the right that my, my volume raised a lot and I'm outputting at minus 0.5 dB. You don't want to smash your mix with your limiter. You don't want to go something like this where um, you see a lot of gain reduction. Try to keep the gain reduction to minus 3 dB here you can see you have I'm minus four here. Right now I'm, I'm reaching about minus five. Uh, we're not hearing it now, but it's probably uh, compressed too much. It will start to pump and sound not good. So I'm gonna back that up just a little bit here. And something else that can help you a lot achieving a louder volume and not applying too much limiting is to apply a compressor before that. So uh, one of the best all time choice for bus compression is the Soul Bus G compressor. This is something that uh, is close to the SSL bus compressor. You want to try, you want to apply some light compression here. Um, really fast attack at point zero three millisecond release automatic ratio three to one and i lower the threshold until i reach about three db of compression so um you don't want to go too heavy-handed here just small increment of compression will give you a loud clear and not smash together mix so Let's go back to our limiter. Now that we have apply our compressor, uh, there's not a lot of gain reduction happening here in the limiter. So we're gonna crank that up just a little more. I can probably go, um, I'm gonna keep it in the safe space. So here I'm applying about 1.5 dB of gain limiting 
because my output gain is at minus 0.5 dB, uh, I'm not gonna clip it because when applying a limiter on the master, if you keep your master or your bus send to 0 dB, you will never go over the amount of gain that you set in your limiter. Be careful what you're doing here. Limiter and compressor are really powerful tool on your main mix. Just, just be gentle. If you, maybe you wanna go the other way around. Maybe try apply a little less compression and maybe a little less limiting. In a situation where you're using the wing for front of house or other application, then only using it for live stream, I would avoid at all costs putting a compressor and limiter on your main. Use a main two, three, four, use a matrix, use a bus send and apply those setting or that ID to yeah. the signal that you sent out to your streaming device. Now that you choose one of the method here to create your mix for your live stream, you apply some kind of mastering. We're gonna move to the computer and I'm gonna show you how I set things up there. As you can see right now, I have my overhead camera filming the console that is playing sound. It's the same thing as if I have a band playing in real time. So for my video, I'm using a Blackmagic device, actually two, one for this camera and one for my overhead camera. And for sound in OBS, I created a audio input capture. And this is, of course, over USB. Uh, and by the way, I'm running Mac. Uh, Mac is just plug and play. But if you are on Windows or Linux, you need to download a driver for the USB card to be uh, recognized by your system. One that you see here, and I'm selecting the wing. Because I'm only having two input, it's by default my left and right. Uh, you can see here on audio, input capture that I have my wing and I have the view meter I see my average level and my peak level here it's fine to go in the red as long as you have a limiter that will stop your signal to go to zero D. if you want to be really safe or if you are using analog audio uh, from the line in or from an interface uh, OBS as a built-in limiter I tried it it's fine i mean it's not as good as some of the plugin out there but if you are on a budget like i said the built-in obs limiter will do you just fine zero is the point where everything starts to crack and sounds like bleh. so if i had a external uh, audio interface sending out analog signal I would select here in audio capture device I will select my audio interface and now you can see my microphone when I'm speaking because I'm using the audio to capture this microphone uh, it will be the same thing OBS doesn't care uh, what you're sending into it it will just send it through also on a side note here if you are using OBS uh, I would suggest you strongly to go in advanced property and to set up a off sync delay for your audio. For my personal setup, 180 millisecond is about where my sound is in sync with my lips when I'm talking. I know Facebook has a different latency. I'm using this setup mostly for YouTube. So result may vary. Find your setting here. There's no magic trick. You need to do some tests, listen back moving things around and and set that again here on facebook if you want to use obs to stream uh, you just go here and use a stream key there is a lot of information about the how to set up obs in facebook i'm not going to go over that again if you are using one camera or obs virtual device just set that up into obs and this is where you will select your sound input if you are using uh, the wing usb if you are using a, an interface or if you are using worst case scenario just your line input with a 1a adapter into your computer that will work too here we have some visual representation of the mix that we're sending in once you got your things set up in facebook i would suggest you to do a test stream this is on the left side here on facebook just do a, a private stream and check your stuff make sure that everything is in sync and you're good to go
On a side note, I will have some video on Dente coming out soon. As I'm recording right now, the internal Dente card is still not available. The external Dente card is available, but out of stock pretty much everywhere. I will have some video on Dente as soon as I can put my hand on a Dente card. If you are streaming on other platforms like Twitch, uh, pretty much everything else is over a stream key. So OBS is your friend here, OBS or Streamlab. Uh, it's pretty much the same ID here. Uh, if you find that video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If I forget something or I said something wrong, please leave it in the comment below. And maybe I will do a part two to correct some stuff that I said or didn't said, or if things have changed a little bit. Until the next video, Take care of yourself and I see you guys later.